I've been asked to explain and demonstrate the water scavenging capabilities of Soltec. This is the fifth generation of a fuel additive that was originally designed for Disney World here in Florida. It's also been sold in more than 32 countries around the world uh, for heavy industry. Uh, Florida has in the past been the phosphate and citrus capital of the world. And this product has been sold industrially in more than 32 countries around the world. Uh, first thing we want to demonstrate is uh, we're going to put some dyed water. We dye it so it's more visual. We're going to put seven drops of water in three test tubes with gasoline, ethanol gasoline. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that's uh, dyed water and ethanol gasoline. Now these test tubes are going to represent in our demonstration uh, simulated gas tanks. Uh, all gas in America today is mandated that it has ethanol in it, which has caused a multitude of problems. Soltec helps fight those problems. This is a demonstration about water scavenging and this is an excellent product on the market. Many of you will recognize that it's one of the better products on the market. We're going to take the cap off of it and we're going to put 20 milliliters of, uh, of this in this test tube representing our gas tank. Now you'll notice as it falls out uh, it does not scavenge the water and of course it won't until you uh, drive the vehicle, shake the test tube. Uh, we simulate driving the vehicle as we shake the test tube and then you're going to see something very unique. It doesn't remove water although this product claims to remove some water. Ethanol, as is all uh, alcohol-based products, are hygroscopic. In other words, they draw water to themselves and when that water becomes too much it falls out and you'll notice the bubbles as we focus in close here. You'll notice the bubbles forming on the bottom of the test tube. That would be happening in your gas tank as soon as you quit driving. And you'll notice now it looks, because the green color is climbing the glass, it looks like a lot more uh, water uh, than was in it before we shook it and before we put the other product in. What's happening is, this is called phase separation. You can Google that and see that it is causing a multitude of problems uh, because of the ethanol gas in America today. Now we're going to put this product in. Now this product, uh, we bought 20 bottles of it for $9.99 in a Walmart. It says right on it, removes water. Well, let's see if it does. Put 20 milliliters of... Uh, uh, of it in, and we're going to drive the car, shake the simulated gas tank again, and we'll notice does it scavenge any water. You'll notice immediately the water begins to fall out, and it falls completely out. And so it does not scavenge water or remove water as it claims on the label. Now, this we're going to uh, pour our Soltec in. Now, Soltec is made up of seven ingredients. 20 milliliters in. It's made up of seven ingredients, and um, those seven, three of them, are designed to remove the water. One soluble in fuel, one soluble in water, and one soluble in both. And it builds a hydrogen, with a hydrogen molecule, it builds a hydrogen bridge so that it micronizes the water as we drive the car, shake our simulated gas tank, you'll notice that it micronizes the water so it's removed from the bottom of the gas tank. Now, micronized, solubilized throughout the entire gas tank, and as you drive the car, this will be removed through the combustion process. Now, we're going to uh, pour this in, because so this obviously is a quite a problem. As you can see down here on the bottom, 
of the gas tank, you've got phase separation. That will cause monumental problems. We're going to uh, go ahead and put some Soltec in it and drive the car. And you'll notice that it absolutely, completely removes the water, solubilizes the water back throughout the gas, and now the water will be removed through the combustion process. Now we do it to our kerosene-based product, which is sold millions of bottles every year or so. We're going to put our Soltec in it. We drive the vehicle, shake our simulated gas tank, and you'll see that as you drive it, it absolutely solubilizes the water. Soltec, it cleans, it lubricates, but it also certainly removes water through the combustion process. Previous generations has been selling to heavy industry for more than 30 years. Now, for the service center industry, this generation of Soltec. Now, we're going to demonstrate the induction product of Soltec and a competitive product. We're going to pour both of them in a spoon, just a little bit. And now we're going to, we'll make them a little even, so we'll put just a little more of the Soltec in. Okay, now we're going to burn the two. We're going to light them. And you can see their product is lit and burns. And then we're going to uh, uh, light the Soltec, and it burns. Now you'll notice that Soltec burns almost perfectly clean when it first starts. That's the reason it has two-stage cleaning. That is the light volatiles burning off, it burns almost completely uh, carbon free and it removes the gums and varnishes. Now the other product, it has uh, very little, if any, light volatiles and you'll notice the difference in the burn of the smoke now. Um, now as uh, Soltec begins to burn down, it will begin to smoke a little more because now it's into its heavy volatiles. Their product will have a, a solvent burst, a solvent boil, and you'll notice that their spoon is beginning to get quite carboned up and as it will continue. Our product, the Soltec product, burns perfectly, much, much cleaner, and however you will notice around the edge, that's called capillary action because the spoon is not just hot the spoon is not just hot in the center as it burns it gets hot everywhere and so because of the ingredients in Soltec it will actually climb the spoon go to the edges and then it'll run back down that is called capillary action and the capillary action allows the, wherever the heat is uh, it's going to draw the Soltec to it, and of course the more it draws it to it, you can see the capillary action again and again. It climbs the top of the spoon, runs back to the middle, and it'll do it several times in one burn demonstration. But you'll also notice how overall clean the burn is. Now the competitive product, while it's, uh, they sell millions of bottles every year, and it's a, it's a decent product, but you can see the residue left, the carbon left, in their spoon. And as ours burns completely down, notice because of the combustion, combustion modifiers, it has, it has a slower burn. But look at the lubricant left. There is lubricant in this, but you'll notice the nastiness of the spoon around. And with Soltec, the cleanness of the spoon. That is Soltec quality.